Hey guys, it's Matt from Origami Inc. here. I just wanted to say I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy out there in these really weird times. And today I wanted to show you my origami butterfly in a tutorial here. I would say this is a beginner model, so I think anyone could fold this with minimal folding experience. So let's get into it. Just using a eight by eight inch square here. One of the first things we're gonna do is that we're gonna fold the square in half, both lengthwise and widthwise. And of course, if at any time I am going too fast, feel free to pause, complete the step, and resume the video from there. Do the first one. And the second one here. I'm gonna have a little bit of a weird folding method. Not used to folding on a table in all honesty. Once you have your folds here, you're gonna take one of the outer edges and align it to the middle here. And crease all the way. We're gonna unfold now. And then we're gonna take this corner right here of the edge we used and then fold it to the line we just made. So I guess this edge to this edge. And repeat the same from this edge to this edge. Alrighty. So once you have that, fold it back up. We're gonna turn this model to the back now. So we're gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna make some reference points, and then this is what the, essentially the bottom wings are gonna be. So first, we're gonna fold this point up to there, essentially the edge to edge, but don't crease the route. I'm just gonna create a reference point right here. Next thing we're gonna do is do the same thing, but to the point we just made. and pinch, but do not crease all the way. Just mark this here with my pen. So from here, we're gonna take this corner and fold it all the way to the middle. And do the same on the other side. Again, <laughs> doesn't need to be perfect. As I always state in my other video, I would say videos have had more than just one on the channel right now. So we are going to essentially make a fold from this corner to the reference point we have right here. I'm just gonna quickly sketch a line, best line ever just so that you guys can get a gist of where the corner and the reference point should be. So to make this fold, one of the easier ways that I kind of fold here is to pinch at the corner, not making too strong of a crease, and then kind of pulling or rolling the paper down, okay, to where the reference point is. And then once we have the paper aligned, we crease the routes, just like so. So again, a fold from this corner to the reference point. Repeat the same on the other side, just by pinching and then rolling the paper out. And once you found your mark, crease the routes. Ready. From here, still working on the back, we're gonna fold the paper in half, just like so. And as you can see from the last fold we made, we kind of have this visual reference point right here. So we are going to make a crease from the middle 
just the middle corner of the model down to this corner right here. Let me draw one for you guys. Oh wow, I totally forgot to state whether or not these should be mountain folds or valley folds. Sorry about that guys. <laughs> this one right here that we have it is going to be a valley fold. So from the corner to the reference point here, I'm just going to kind of go for it. I will say that this edge is going to meet a line or excuse me, align with this edge right here. So you can kind of help that as you fold or use as your help as you fold. Oop. I'll talk about not being perfect. <laughs> But you guys kind of get the idea right there. And then basically repeat on the other side. You can fold this from corner to corner here. I mean, isn't that the beauty about nature? That all things are imperfect. <laughs> yes, that's my excuse for messing up in a tutorial. And that's fine. So from here, we're going to turn the model to the back again. We're going to take the crease you just made and fold it to the middle. Think of it like an airplane. So essentially just making a fold, a valley fold right here. So aligning in the middle. It's going to be kind of thin. And I should state that this should be going through all the layers of the paper. So I'll show you one more time here again. So take the fold and right in the middle, like so. Repeat on the other side. And then fold the model back over. Last step here is that we're going to fold the top of the model to where we made those folds way earlier in the video. So you can take it one at a time. So fold down, just roll it down essentially, and make the fold from the center to where this point is, and then repeat on the other side like so. And then one last final step is that we want to kind of pop up the body a bit. So create that mountain fold right here. And then we're going to take kind of the head of the butterfly and squish it like this. Kind of so that Gives the body a little more 3D shape. Kind of like this. Oh, oh, I think I might have killed it. And kind of looks like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial here. If you guys have any questions, just ask them down below in the comments or message me on Instagram, whatever you guys want to do. If you guys do fold this, we'd love to see you guys' uh, folds. So please send them my way again on Instagram, either link down below or I mean, it's going to be there anyway. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't made a tutorial in a long time? Yeah, it's been a while. But again, just hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands and we'll get through this together. So I wish you guys the best and I'll see you guys next time.